Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.10, Apply Volume Formulas. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. The objective for this lesson is to use a formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Please pause again to write the objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, in the last lesson, when we learned about volume, we had unit cubes that we could count. Today, we don't have unit cubes. We need to apply the formula. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. Mike is making a box to hold his favorite DVDs. The length of the box is seven inches. The width is five inches and the height is three inches. What is the volume of the box that Mike is making? Let's look to the purple box for information first. It says, <coughs> underline what you are being asked to find. We are being asked to find what is the volume of the box Mike is making. And it says, circle the numbers that we need to use. So we know that the length is seven inches, the width is five, and the height is three. So as we know from our lesson before, one way to find volume is length times width times height. So we know from the problem that the length was seven inches, the width was five inches, and the height was three inches. We could also see this on this diagram they drew, seven and five and three. Now in order to find the volume, we need to multiply. We need to multiply two numbers at a time and then multiply by the third. So let's do seven times five because it gives us a nice easy 35. Now we can multiply 35 by three to get our volume. So 35 times three, five times three is 15, three times three is nine plus one is 10. So the volume of his box is 105 inches cubed. So the volume of his DVD box is 105 cubic inches. Great job so far, fifth graders. Another way to find the volume of a rectangular prism is to find the area of the base and then multiply by the height. Let's try that this time. Emilio's family has a sand castle kit. The kit includes molds for several solid figures that can be used to make sand castles. One of the molds is a rectangular prism, shown to the right. How much sand will it take to fill the mold? This time we're going to do base times height. So the base is this one down here, and it is five by four. So five times four is the base, times eight is the height. Five times four is 20, times eight, let's do that to the side, 20 times eight, eight times zero is zero, and eight times two is 16. So that would be 160 cubic inches. So it will take 160 cubic inches of sand to fill the rectangular prism. Great job, let's continue to the lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is A and B in the try this section. I'll get you started. The first one's going to have us find the volume with the formula length times width times height. The length here is seven, the width is four, and the height is five. Now, even though they're in this order, I'm actually gonna multiply four times five first because four times five is 20, and 20 is a nice, easy number to multiply by. So I'm gonna do seven times 20. You go ahead and fill in the volume of what seven times 20 equals. In part B, we are being asked to find the unknown measurement, which if you can see here is the height. So let's use what we do know in order to find what we don't know. We know the length, that's five, and we know the width, that's four. And we know that five times four is 
20. So now we need to answer this question. 60 is the total equals 20 times what? So let's reverse this and think about the multiplication. 20 times blank gives me 60. That whole will help us tell what the unknown measurement is. Fill in this blank and be prepared to show your teacher at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.